So now I'm going to show you all how you put the saw blade back on. Now first things first, I probably should have gotten prepared for this video, which I did not do. Well anyway, this is really hard to see. Turn off my light and see if that makes a difference. Well, apparently that did not. So, oh, that's better. There's a bolt right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bolt off. Well, it's actually a Allen type of screw. So it's not a bolt, it's a screw. Now, this is kind of hard to do this one-handed. Hold on. All right, I got the screw off. Now here's the other support for the blade. That's the other one, so this comes in two pieces. And this is what locks these two supports right here. This is basically what holds the blade tightly so it doesn't slip. Next, you only take one side off. You don't take both of them off. It's so hard to do this one-handed. So you slide the blade on this direction. This is the wrong way. This is the right way. Slide it through the blade guard here. Slide the slide it into the groove right there, and then as you can tell, this is oval shaped. That's oval shaped, and you look for it on the saw too. That's hard to see. If I can show that, I'm sorry if you can't see that, but that is oval shaped, and you put it in the same way. Uh, with the oval so make sure it lines up now this is left-handed thread so you have to turn this counterclockwise to tighten and clockwise to loosen and before you do any type of work on a saw or any type of electric motor always unplug it because I've never had an accident yet but I almost did and trust me it's not fun I got lucky I did not injure myself now, as you can see, it's now turning the blade, but it's not tightened all the way. You push this button back here. It's kind of a lock. Keep turning it until you can push it in. 